morning. Our hostage here and we're going to do another episode. Well, the Mark Buddle case gets more strange by the moment. Right now, it's being reported, okay, right, Germany, Mark Buddle arrested by Cyprus police posing as FBI agents, Comanchero boss, English headline, underworld boss Mark Buddle may have been rounded up at gunpoint by local police impersonating FBI agents in an effort to extort the Comanchero boss. Australia's most wanted man who fled the country in 2016 after being wanted in connection with several murders was captured while returning to his hideout on the Mediterranean island of Cyprus by officers identifying themselves as FBI. The infamous bikey, 44, recently left his latest safe haven on the island nation to meet with a high-profile international member of the gang in Germany. He then travelled back to the nation's north via Turkey, an area where many Australian fugitives hide out, before reports surfaced Sunday that the American agents have swooped on the gangster. But the US Crime Bureau has since denied they were behind the sting operation. Underworld boss, is it, are they writing all this again? Underworld boss may have been rounded up at gunpoint by local police impersonating FBI agents in an effort to extort the Comanchero the boss. It seems the local, it seems it's local police that grabbed him who may be trying to either kick him out of the country or even shake him down, a law enforcement source told the Daily Telegraph. He had been in Cyprus for a while but got involved in an altercation with local police a couple of months back and it made front page news in the region and brought a lot of attention to him, which hasn't helped him. The source, the source said it wasn't uncommon for in the region for police to abuse their power and believe Buddle is currently attempting to negotiate his way out of a Cyprus jail with local authorities. Cypriot and Australian police are yet to comment on his custody. Officials in Buddle's home nation are desperately working to find an avenue to bring the command the command. Chiro boss back to Australia, but it is now understood the arrest was more likely an attempt to extort money or convince him to leave Cyprus rather than a move that could see him extradited under international law. Buddle is currently in a disputed territory that is claimed by both Cyprus and Turkey, which, which makes it even more challenging for Australian officials to intervene. Mark Buddle was a mentor to new Comanchero National President Alan Meehan in Sydney. Buddle took over the leadership of the Coman Comancheros when former, mob former boss Mahmoud Mikhawi was jailed over a fatal brawl in Sydney in 2009. He fled Australia in 2016 for Dubai where he set up a new life with his partner Melanie Wishka after he became a person of interest in the 2010 murder of a security guard. Last year, Buddle left Dubai soon after a video surfaced showing him fighting tourists at a resort pool. Since then, it is understood he has hopped between numerous countries such as Turkey, Greece and Iraq before settling in Cyprus. The Sydney-born crime boss who grew up in a Maruba Housing Commission estate before joining the Comancheros has reportedly been living in Cyprus since mid-2021. He said he's worth 100 million US dollars, arrived on the island on a 30-day visa before he got a residence permit. Wow, this is unreal. Right, earlier, that, the earlier episode I did, I'm quoting from a um, Turkish mainstream media TV source that says that Mark Buddle was arrested in northern 
Cyprus and he was taken to um, Ankara where he's being held with you to extraditing him or deporting him to Australia. Now it's come out that the FBI agents weren't really FBI agents, they were local police trying to shake him down or trying to get him out of the country because of the trouble he's caused. But they're saying that he's in a, a northern Cyprus jail trying to negotiate with local authorities to be released. So I'm very sorry about the earlier episode, but as I say, I was only reading from, um, a, a, well, it's meant to be a reliable source. Where was it? Here, let me go down and see if I can find it for you. Um, yeah, turkeynewsen.com. Deportation of drug lord caught in TRNC. Selim Sayan, NTV, right? This is who wrote the article. So it was a TV company, right? Selim Sayari, NTV. Australian drug lord Mark Douglas Buddle was arrested on Saturday in a joint operation between the security forces and the general dictator of police. Right, and she goes on to say... Wanted on by Interpol on charges of forming a gang for cocaine. Buddle tried to enter Turkey, and when he failed, he went to the United Arab Emirates and Iraq, respectively. The gang leader, who received rejection from these countries, had come to the to the northern Cyprus. The drug lord had been hiding in the TRNC for about a year. Was arrested in a major operation. Buddle, one of the heads of the cocaine mafia in Australia, was sent to Ankara to be handed over to the official of the Turkish Interpol Europol department. It is expected that Buddle will be extradited to his country, Australia, following his processes in Ankara. So we don't know what to believe. And now the FBI is saying they weren't involved. So we don't know where he is, to be honest with you, right? There's one article now saying that he's in the Northern Cyprus jail trying to negotiate with local authorities for his release. And then we've got another source saying that he's um, been taken to Ankara, the capital of Turkey, and he's on his way back to Australia. It's a strange one, isn't it? It's not... <laughs> and and the, the Northern Cyprus police right, are pretending they're FBI agents. They're all at it, aren't they? The whole world's gone mad. Corruption and it's, it's, it's all gone upside down. The whole world, right, is swimming in a sewer of debauchery and corruption from the top to the bottom. Unbelievable. And we just heard him, right, Bernie Eccleston. He's worth about $5 billion, right, £3 billion pound and he uh, just discovered the tax man in the UK that he's got £400 million worth of assets, right, offshore that he hasn't declared. And my question is, why? Why haven't he declared them? How much is enough? Bernie Eccleston, he's worth £3 billion. And he has to hide £400 million worth of assets off, offshore. I mean, that's pure greed, isn't it? Pure and utter greed. You were three billion, yet you're hiding another four hundred million offshore. The world's gone mad, and I don't know what to say about Mark Buddle. Well, it's up in the air. Maybe he's in um, Northern Cyprus, and he's going to buy his way out. I mean, I, I should imagine he'd offer a million dollars, wouldn't he, to be released back into Northern Cyprus? But then again. You know, has he been transferred to Ankara? And he's on his way to Australia. Seems that no one knows. And the FBI are going, not me, Gov, nothing to do with us. <laughs> right? You've got fake FBI agents running around northern Cyprus. But they're not um but they're not like ordinary criminals pretending they're FBI. They're Northern Cyprus police pretending they're the FBI. Oh my god. I've heard it all now. So, I can honestly say, I really don't know what's happened to Mark Buddle. 
right? Nothing's going to surprise me, right? Unless, of course, at the end of the week, right, we see President Biden going to meet with um, Crown Prince MBS in Saudi Arabia and Daniel Kinahan's there as well, shaking his hand, going, all right, how are you going? And then, well, then you'll just know it's all over then, wouldn't you? You know what I mean? It's game over. The whole world is corrupted. But it's the strangest one I think I've ever heard. Right, the most wanted man in Australia, right, has been arrested by fake FBI agents, right, and is either in a jail in northern Cyprus, right, and has got to pay his way out with local officials and authorities, or he's been swooped over to Ankara in Turkey and he'll be back in Australia within the next 48 hours because he'll be deported. Or, I mean, who's got it right and who's got it wrong? But the FBI have definitely denied being involved in this, right? So we now can establish that the Northern Cyprus police dressed up as FBI agents. <laughs> oh, oh, God. You couldn't write this, could you, honestly? If you went into a Hollywood studio, right, as a scriptwriter with this, you say, right, now we've got the Australia's most wanted man, right, and we're going to have him arrested in Northern Cyprus by fake FBI agents, right? who are actually Northern Cyprus police, to shake him down. Then he's in jail, right? Then we don't know whether he's going to go to Turkey first, Ankara, then Australia, or whether he's going to buy his way out of jail in Northern Cyprus. Hey? I've heard it all now. Anyway, this is going to be episode 227, right? The plot thickens. Mark Buddle, come out wherever you are. Art Hostage, signing off.